Hi, this is video one of a two part video series I'm going to do on net present value and the internal rate of return. So I'm going to look at a question here that we see on the screen and it's for a project that has projected cash flows over a four year period. And the cash flows here are represented in numbers from negative 105 to a positive 35,000 from year zero to year four and year zero is known as your initial investment year or period. So the question one here is to calculate the net present value of the project and whether it's going to be a good investment or not. And we can tell this from the answer that we'll get for the calculation. What's also important and what's needed here is this 12%. This is known as the discount rate, also known as the hurdle rate or the cost of capital. So I'm going to take this these figures here, put them into Excel and work out the net present value based on the formula as shown. So this is your formula, net present value represented by NPV. It's going to be the sum of CT is your net cash flow for the time period that's in question. So either time period zero to four in this one. That's over one plus R to the power of T. R is your discount rate or your cost of capital. To the power of T again is your time period. And the C naught here, the negative C naught, that's your initial cash flow or your initial investment. So here we have the table that was given in the question and I just put them into Excel so we can work off them quite easy. So we have the year zero to four, your cash flows as given in the question. And I'm just gonna change that to suit the formula and I'm gonna call it CT. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll break this formula down into headings within the table here. So we already have the CT here. Your next heading is gonna be one plus R to the power of T. And remember, or was your 12% in the question? Just to check on it again, 12%. So for our year zero, we have equals one plus, and the 12% is represented in decimal form 0 0.12. And that's to the power of year zero. Anything to the power of year zero always gives you a value of one. We repeat that for the following year. And remember your discount rate stays the same, but now it's to the power of year one. And likewise, it's to the power of year two, year three, and year four. So I'm just gonna so I'm just going ahead putting in 1.12 rather than one plus. 0.12. Okay, I'm going to continue on with the formula CT divided by what we had just done, 1 plus R to the power of time, and that's known as your present value. And notice here, the present value for year zero, it's negative. This relates to the negative C naught here. So we've already just done that calculation because negative 105,000 divided by one is your negative 105,000. So this is already included in the table, the calculation in the table. And we just repeat that again, 25,000 divided by 1.12 will give us the 22,321. I'm going to drag this down because it's all the same. 28,000 divided by 1.25 also gives us that same figure, coincidentally. 36,000 divided by 1.4 will give us 25,624. And likewise, the discounted value of 35,000 is just over 22,000. And to get the net present value, the formula just tells you to sum it up. So negative 12,490. The conclusion here is that because it's negative, it's not a good investment. A good investment is seen as a positive number because when you discount all your future cash flows, you want a positive number. So 
the conclusion is do not invest in this project at a discount rate of 12%. Check out the other video where we calculate the internal rate of return. Thanks for watching.